So which of these two IEMs is better to get? The 7 Hertz Sound Notes 0 or the 7 Hertz Sound Notes Critical 0 2. I'm going to break that down in this video by first going over the similarities and the differences. Now I actually got the 0 2 first because this was marketed as having even more bass than the 0. So I've had these for like 6 months now. And I've only had these for a few weeks. So similarities first. These are both IEMs in ear monitors. They're basically earbuds. They have pretty much the same form factor. Though this does have some like kind of transparent body to it. You take these off. They have the two prongs. You put them in here. And this wraps around your ear. Same thing goes with the original Zero. Now this could technically go in the differences section. But I do find that the way that these pull out is just a little bit easier on the Zero too. I don't find that it really makes a difference in terms of the actual durability of it. And that's going to be important when I talk about the differences. Now both of them by default come with this wire 48 inches tip ring sleeve. Tip ring sleeve here also. They have a lot of different ear tips. I don't actually know where the ones are for the Zero 2, but these are the ones that come with the Zero and you can just swap them out to get the best fit. I'll talk about the sound quality specifically in comparison to each other in the difference section, but they sound amazing. There are premium gaming headsets that aren't anywhere close to the sound of these. Really clear, really detailed, pretty narrow sound sets because they're going like directly into your ears and so nothing's going to really sound that far away, but I personally do enjoy that type of a sound and they do have good sound isolation so you don't hear a whole lot from outside so if you really want to stay focused on what you're doing IEMs are excellent for that and the, these ear tips specifically are good for that these don't really get too uncomfortable over long periods of time like some others so let's get into the differences between these and this should really help you determine which one is better for you to get specifically now there's only two real differences that i found between these in my use case Number one is the sound quality, specifically the frequency response, because they're both really clear and very detailed. But the Zero Two, just like it was marketed to be, does have more bass, a little bit more bass. It's not that strong. It's not that powerful. In fact, there are other IEMs that I've used that have more bass than this. The Wayner SG, I made a video on that. I feel that that has a little bit more bass than both of these. So overall, I find that the Zero Two is a little bit less fatiguing to listen to, but also for single player games, immersive stuff like that, music, and some movies, because I've used both of these for a lot of different media, I do just prefer the sound of the Zero Two myself. So if you're into more bass than the Zero Two, if you want even more bass than this can offer, then this is actually very receptive to EQ because of how little these distort. By default, I actually like these for FPS games a little bit better. It's really easy to EQ these because it's just such a small bump in the bass, but with the Zero specifically, just right out the box, I was able to play games like COD and Halo and just be like, okay, this is fine where it is. Personally, it's not quite as immersive, but I don't need to tweak the EQ at all for it, which is less of a hassle. Now, the second difference, durability. Okay, so context, like I said, I've been using the Zero Two significantly longer, about six months, and then this only for a few weeks. But the right earbud on the Zero Two, after I was using it for like, I don't know, uh, maybe a couple of months, the volume just decreased a little bit to like maybe like 80%. I thought it might be the wire, but I actually, you can actually switch these wires if you want to, just so that you can test. It's going to be obviously reversed, which uh, sound is going into which earbud. But I determined that it wasn't actually the wire itself. It was definitely the earbud itself, which was causing the issue. It was 80%, so I could manage that in the window settings a little bit. But eventually it dipped lower and lower. And now this is probably at about 20% volume. So this is actually pretty common when I actually ended up looking that up, that that happens. And this was supposed to, at least from what I heard what Critical said, that this was made with slightly different materials for more durability. But in my case, this has actually been the more durable one. Again, I haven't used it as long, but neither of these have had any issues shorting out. I'd say so that's probably the only like knock against the Zero Two is that durability issue. But overall, I like the sound a lot better. The wire is a little bit different. We have like just a little bit of like braiding on this wire where this one is just like pretty much flat on the Zero Two. But I didn't find that the wire was the thing that actually ended up making the difference. It was the uh, earbud itself. But overall sound quality, I definitely prefer the Zero Two. And it's the one that I would recommend for someone that wants more bass. And if you want a little bit less bass, then I'd go with the original Zero.